Welcome out, everybody. So our essential oil that we're talking about tonight is fennel, or this morning, depending on when you're listening to that. But everybody who are joining here to us tonight is going to hear about fennel. And we'd like to welcome everybody who's joined us online live for this event. Um, as always, you can watch these um, later on on YouTube or on listen to the podcast. We had some difficulty with the podcast, but we've, we've sorted that. So um, yeah, so welcome out everybody. Um, and without further ado, we're going to go ahead and turn the time over to Jay. She's put a lot of time into putting this fennel together. And I like the smell of fennel because it smells like licorice. And yes. Yummy. Yes. All righty, guys. Welcome tonight. Um, anybody? Did you share it? Did I need to share it already? Oh, no, no, no. no the screen is shared, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just saying you have your fennel. Where's your fennel? Um, over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you guys um, have any fennel experience or stories to share to start off with? Have you used fennel? <laughs> yep. So it's, it should smell like uh, black licorice. It's quite sweet. Some people love it and some people don't. But we like it. It's nice and sweet. What do you guys use fennel for? I've used fennel and right now I can't remember exactly what I used it for. <laughs> I just remember the smell and it wasn't so bad. But I don't remember if it was sinuses or something it was not too long ago but i really did use, i mean i used it i just can't now think of what it was mm -hmm. well, we've used it in our home for digestion yep and mm -hmm. for i don't know we use it for the kids for an emotional thing I, I yes the twins responsibility yes that's right mm -hmm. give them a sense of responsibility yeah because we have uh two little monkeys the, the youngest kids we just need a little bit more, more responsibility <laughs> Okay, so fennel is great in a nutshell. It's great for nausea and colic and gas, for menstrual cramps, um, supporting our body in that way and supporting our body to increase milk supply if you are nursing. It uh, helps with digestion, of course, and helps balance your appetite. Uh, so, in fact, uh, it's an appetite suppressant for most people. Um, and it helps strengthen the sense of self and personal responsibility. So we're going to talk about this one. It's a very special oil. Um, and it's interesting because uh, we, we have the two youngest children. They're twins. Um, they're 10. But I think a few years back, they were really, really drawn to this oil. Um, and, uh, you know, because being the youngest, sometimes they feel like they can't, do stuff and um, they always have to rely on people um, and you know we're always encouraging our children to be self-reliant and um, be responsible for their chores and things like that so the twins I really like the smell um, and uh, for some reason some, uh, one of our twins that she asked for it one day she's like I really feel like fennel mom can I have fennel and I thought this is really good because she wants to have responsibility, but she feels like she's not strong enough. So um, the fennel is a wonderful oil to encourage that confidence in yourself. So that's really good. So we want to talk about fennel um, in several different ways. Welcome, Debbie. So fennel is, is actually from uh, an oil from this herb that's been used anciently in the, um, with the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, um, <clears throat> used in Great Britain, excuse me, <clears throat> and in India. So it's been used for a very long time. And else, fennel is this sweet fennel. I, I don't, I've not experienced any other fennel, so I don't know um, how the other ones smell or taste. Um, but um, yeah, it's very, very strong against environmental threats. And um, if we use it often, it'll help with our immunity. <clears throat> um, so first thing you notice is that licorice smell and taste, right? So we have, Debbie, I don't know if 
Debbie, you want to share your experience? I don't know if she's saying. <coughs> Sorry. Um, no, she, okay, she's not question. there. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but, uh, you know, fennel is a wonderful oil that you can use in um, lots of uh, blends. It um, Basically, it plays well with the other oils. So it's great with geranium, lavender, black pepper, rosemary, sandalwood, frankincense, and lemon. So those are the great um, the oils that just work really well with fennel. All right. Um, does anyone want to add anything and say anything before we move on? Okay. So we're going to talk about fennel and how it helps with the body. Um, so fennel it has a very special um, estrogenic ability to support hormones um, and hormone balancing in men and women. Okay, so men too, by the way. Um, we think of estrogen, um, we think of um, women's monthly cycles, PMS, etc., but it uh, helps with more than that too because when our estrogen levels are um, healthy, so it fluctuates up and down properly and our progesterone level fluctuates properly, our body actually has um, better muscle tone, more elasticity in the skin um, and uh, helps with the connective tissues. Uh, it will help with a healthier circulation, of course, stronger bones because if we have... Um, high progesterone level, it will help us absorb the calcium and other nutrients to the, into the bones. And of course, it even helps um, slows down uh, aging. So that's really good. So you have lots of good reasons why you want to use fennel to help balance your hormones here. Um, so one very popular usage of fennel is um, for breast milk, to increase breast milk. So you can use fennel or basil um, and you can um, massage it on the breast tissues after feeding, of course, and so that um, the smell is uh, lessened by the time you feed again. And you can do that up to three or four times a day, uh, but avoid the nipples. Uh, so we have Debbie Gordon on this call. I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Debbie? I will. Fennel is meant for short-term use, no more than 10 days at a time for breast milk production. It actually increases milk supply by drawing the fluids out of the fluid, out of the tissues. And so you can actually cause dehydration and throw you right back into low milk supply. You can use it for much longer than that. So 10 days is the recommendation. Yep. Just to prime the pump, basically, hey. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So you guys hear that? Don't do it too long. It's an awesome oil. All righty. Of course, like I said earlier, it helps with um, balancing hormones. So it will help with the monthly cycles. So here is an, oops, oops here, <laughs> here's an awesome blend um, for the body. So you can massage this all over your body. So you can use uh, two ounces of coconut oil, five drops of fennel, four drops of ylang ylang, five drops of clary sage, six drops of Roman chamomile, uh, four drops of lime, five drops of coriander. So there's a lot of drops. What you do is you blend all this into a separate container. Um, so you can use some of your old 15 ml bottles and then um, you shake it up, mix it up and rub it on your body as needed. Okay. Uh, remember that these oils help clean out the receptor sites. And um, when your receptors are clean, it's able to communicate properly. And of course, when your cells can communicate properly, it will produce the, the proper amount of hormones and chemicals that it needs to do its job. Okay, so um, there's another blend here for psych, uh, the cycle regulating oil. So this is the women's monthly cycles, that's what we mean. All right, so two ounces of coconut oil, the fractionated coconut oil, um, three drops of fennel, two drops of vetiver, two drops of rose. If you don't have rose, sometimes you can substitute it with geranium, okay, because geranium is the poor man's rose. <laughs> uh, four drops of white fur and six drops of clary sage and six drops of Roman chamomile. And again, put that in a separate container. You can massage it on um, the back of your 
ankles, both sides of your ankles, and um, your wrists and lower back and all and over tummy. Your ankles is the reflex points for your um, uterus. So, yes. Um, anybody want to ask questions or make comments so far? I've had lots of uh, friends actually just by cleaning out their cells, cleaning out their body, they were able to um, get their periods back because I know some people have been so, um, so sick and unhealthy that they, you know, one friend, she hasn't had a period in three years. Um, and then once she started using oil, she started getting her periods again. So that's, that's a good thing for, for them. And especially in our day and age, we have a lot of xenoestrogens in our diet and in our body. So this helps um, it clean out and uh, balance up a little bit more. I'm going to say something. Mm -hmm. um, I have found personally that the essential oils are the best way to help regulate a woman's hormones. Mm -hmm. um, the very best way. And I had a naturopath doctor say, Debbie, the best thing you ever did for yourself was get involved in essential oils. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend this to you women and your daughters, yes. everybody. But of course, it's very, very regulated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a friend that she couldn't fall pregnant for a while and uh, she just had such a hard time. And I introduced oils and I think she was using all sorts of oils. And yep, good for her. Five months later, she fell pregnant and she was so happy. And then um, a couple of years later, it, it, she happened again. So she was really happy. But she said it took her several years of trying and trying and nothing's happening. Um, so awesome. All right. This is this yep. Okay. So the next one is, you know, cycle regulating bath oil. There's a <laughs> lot of ways you can get the oils on you, in you. So just choose... Um, you know, a few of these to try, guys, and do it consistently, and you'll see some results. Um, okay, so half a cup of Epsom salt, two drops it's of actually fennel. Actually, a few baths, so crusty yeah, taste for lots. today. Yeah, I, I love I love soaking. So we have a whole big bag of um, Epsom salt, and the kids like doing it too. Uh, two drops of coriander, three drops of geranium, three drops of clary sage, and you know the Epsom salt. Mix it in the warm bath water and soak for 15 minutes. Okay, at least. Okay, so that's the bath. That's a different way of using the essential oils to get it on you, in you. Okay, and the next one, this is for um, symptom management. Uh, we, of course, have the amazing um, Clary Calm, and that's a roll on. You can roll it on your abs if you have some discomforts during the cycles, but this is another option too. Okay, so this is for bath. So half a cup of Epsom salt, two drops of fennel, one drop of rose. And again, you can substitute with geranium if you want. Um, ylang ylang, three drops, marjoram, two drops. And then just mix it together and soak for at least 15 minutes. Okay, so that's that. Does All anybody right. have experience with doing uh, bath soaks? Well, because um, <laughs> nobody's talking, I, um, I don't have a lot of troubles during the monthly cycles, but once in a while when I, I and it's especially bad if it's um, got a bit of cramping happening, that's what I would do. Um, and, you know, it's just immediate comfort and then I'm good to go. It's amazing. So, you know, I, you know, really appreciate that we have these oils and we don't have to turn to any other alternatives. So on the other end of our monthlies, for those that are experiencing menopause, there's um, balancing a menopause balancing bath too. Um, so we experienced this with um, um, some of my friends and my mum. Um, you know, she had six, seven months of no periods and then she had a little bit and then she had, you know, it was just all over the place and she was just getting really... Uh, uncomfortable so we got her onto oils and things started happening regularly until it all tapered off and she was all happy about that uh, so here's a blend um, for your bath again half a cup of Epsom salt um, so one drop of fennel uh, one drop of geranium two drops of clary sage two drops of Roman chamomile 
So all of these oils are really great for um, just balancing and clearing out your receptors and just helping you feel happy. Okay, so soak, mix those oils together in your bath and soak for 15 minutes. All right, and there's one more, this is a body oil. Okay, so you can uh, do aromatic dressing. So what people do is they put the, all this into a container or a little bowl and then they just you know, rub it all over their body and say appreciative things like, you know, thank you tummy, thank you breasts, thank you arms and legs and for you know, what you do. So two drops uh, of fennel with the two ounces of coconut oil um, and two drops of patchouli, two drops of coriander, four drops of wild orange, uh, four drops of geranium, five drops of clary sage, and two drops of lime. Because we have citrus oils in here, just be mindful you're not going to go out in the sun directly right away and um, or you know sit on a tanning bed, okay? Um, this is just a massage oil for your body um, during this time of your life, okay? Uh, fennel is great for the digestive system. So this is another way we use fennel. Okay. Any, anybody have any comments about using fennel for menopause or hormonal menopause yeah. or monthly things? Or, and then we'll move on to digestive. I love to add it to homemade ice cream. Oh, wow. Not that I should be eating ice cream. That's a telltale, I guess, right? <laughs> um, but also in my water bottle, I, I love a drop of, or two of fennel in my water bottle. Yes, yeah, it. it's a great way to take it. And so, if you love that black licorice flavor, which I absolutely do, apparently because I need it, mm -hmm. and um, that's a wonderful way to get fennel in. Mm -hmm. Very soothing for the digestive system, very hormonally balancing. It's a great oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I have it in my water bottle um, this week because uh, I'm thinking about it. So, I'm and drinking it, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> and it's funny because I scanned myself and fennel came up too. So, <laughs> I guess I need it. It's perfect week for it. Yeah. So like Debbie said, great for the digestive system and it's actually great for the respiratory system too. Mm -hmm. We have fennel in our digest zen, digestive blend. But you know, for whatever reason, if you feel like using fennel more, you can add it to your um, blend. Okay. So there's, you know, don't worry that it's already in the, the digest zen. Some people like to add uh, the extra fennel just to, enhance that smell and taste and sometimes fennel um, alone does a better job depending on the person um, so any sort of digestive concern um, you know go for fennel go for the digestive blend and uh, see how you go it just actually balances so any of the digestive problems and digestive problems we mean you know things like bloating constipation diarrhea cramps and more all right I guess for those of you who are new to um, essential oils the two ways to use um, fennel or anything for a digestive system, so they're take it internally uh -huh. or you can rub it rub on it your tummy. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And there's also the possibility of putting it on the, the part of your foot that corresponds with that reflex point. Ref reflex point. Yep. And when we're soaking with Epsom salt, the Epsom salt helps the oils drive into our body more. If you have water mixed with oils, the water helps the oil drive in deeper. So that's the benefit of um, soaking. And we'll talk about some more um, emotional things later on. The, probably yeah. the best way to take that in is um, aromatically, mm -hmm. so smelling it. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. All righty. So you, you know that um, the digestive um, help, uh, digest, the digest and fennel is great for the digestive help. And remember, if we leave any of our digestive issues unchecked uh, and... Um, unresolved it can just lead to uh, more severe gut problems and um, that's no fun when, when that happens okay <clears throat> all righty so um, remember we need to take care of the gut because it supports brain function and it's not just our brain that thinks our whole body offers information for us to experience the world um, you know the the gut has a nickname where you know they say it's a second brain and that's the good reason. There's a good reason for that. So the gut functions are linked to a lot of our emotional response. So if you ever experience butterflies in your stomach, um, you know that's that's what happens um, when you're uncomfortable or nervous, and you're 
your stomach, um, your gut um, has a lot of neurotransmitters, okay? And um, just like the brain, you know, it has like 95% of the body's serotonin is found in the bowels. Um, so there's some research there. You can click on the links um, and, uh, you know, read all about it. But uh, whenever we're stressed and, um, you know, we actually take away energy from our gut and we concentrate that energy in our heads and our gut kind of um, doesn't get that attention and, of course, things uh, in there freeze up and clog up and, um, you know, sometimes we have back up. So, uh, we want to be pooping at least three times a day and get things out and moving and, um, you know, the, then you know we avoid a lot of digestive problem but not only that it will help with our brain functions if you have brain fog then you probably want to take care of that gut okay all right anyone with any questions or comments so you all got that the link between the gut and the brain okay all right awesome Okay, here's a cellulite blend um, that's combined two drops of fennel, two drops of rosemary, two drops of cypress, four drops of lemon, and one drop of patchouli. And you can um, put that in a container and mix it up and then rub it on, and you, you know, the insides of your thigh, the outside, and, um, you know, upward motion, a.m. and p.m. Okay, it just helps with, uh, you know, circulation, helps the cells. Uh, do its job, release um, fat, and um, kind of balance out. So that's a really good blend. I have a, a similar so you like blend in my bathroom, <laughs> and once in a while I remember to use it. So yeah, you know, take care of that uh, that nice body of yours. Alrighty. So we're moving on. Uh, it's great for weight management. And here's an inhalant blend. So sometimes just the smell of food makes you hungry, right? Even though you've eaten, you just want to eat some more. So it works in the reverse. If you smell a certain smell, it can help you feel satiety. I think a long time ago they had soldiers um, carry fennel seeds with them so that they don't... Um, feel so hungry because they're out in the field they don't get to eat very often and this helps them manage their hunger but uh, here you are you can use this in one of those inhalers so put six drops of fennel in there three drops of ginger rose uh, two drops of rosemary one drop of black pepper and then just put it on the wick seal it up and then smell it when you have um, a need to reduce uh, cravings okay Alrighty, so like most oils, um, fennel is amazing um, to help the cells, like I said, clean out the debris, help the receptors start to function properly and uh, receive information, send information out again, okay? And if our body can send proper information, we will be able to manage um, our ability to feel a satiety and uh, not overeat. Alrighty, so let's move on. Um, so here's another blend um, we can use. They so can do six drops of fennel, nine drops of bergamot, six drops of patchouli, and mix that in one of those inhalants. And you can actually click on there. There's a little link. Um, and basically, you can just smell it. And I think it will last a very long time if you just keep the lid on when you're not using it. Okay, so you can smell that in between meals. And of course, you guys can use that and put it in a diffuser if that's one of the concerns that you have of overeating. Okay, make, make that mix and um, put a couple of drops of that mix in a diffuser when you need to, if you're on a regimen and trying to lose some weight. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so um, moving on, appetite. Um, suppressing stomach rub <laughs> and there's another way we do this uh, you know people have come up with so many different um, ways to help them uh, manage their weight so here's another option for you two drops um, and sorry two ounces of coconut oil with eight drops of fennel four drops of patchouli and five drops of grapefruit um, and of course blend it together in a separate container and then apply it to your tummy um, as needed okay and most of these uh, 
are from my notes with uh, Dr. Susan Lawton. She's awesome. And uh, she's been using essential oils for more than 40 years for her um, patients and things. And she's got a lot of knowledge. And, and I've used a lot of her oils, uh, re remedies and things that uh, she's suggested. And it's really, it's amazing. All righty. So we have one little warning here. I found a research that was interesting um, for people who are prone to epileptic seizures. There was a report of one woman ingesting a fennel essential oil, it may or may not be doTERRAs, but um, she, it led to a um, case of uh, a seizure. So anyways, if you have anyone who has is concerned, um, make sure they carry um, frankincense and sandalwood with them and use it often, okay, to help with the brain chemicals and the um, communications between the cells in the brain so that um, you know, they can help, help the body manage that. I've had a few um, good friends who experienced um, a lot of seizures and they found a lot of comfort with the frankincense and sandalwood. And, um, Actually, one girl, she's, she's not had any seizures since she started using oil, so that's amazing. Going from five seizures a month to zero, and so that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to pause here. Does anybody have any questions or comments? So who has fennel and who's been using it? Martha? Yes, I love the fennel. <laughs> I started taking it in February. I learned about it last summer. And I broke my wrist in December. And in February, when I mentioned fennel to Erin, she said, we have it. <laughs> 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 I was afraid to taste it. I had been buying the fruit, I mean the vegetable, and uh, never tasted it because I was afraid. So when I tasted it, took the drop out of the bottle and, and put it in my water, oh, I love black licorice. It's my favorite. <laughs> so I put it in my egg. I put it in my oatmeal. Mm -hmm. even in um, other food that I make. So I've enjoyed it since yeah, ice February. Cream. Pardon? Ice cream. Yeah, no. Debbie Gordon said ice cream too. No, I haven't tried it in ice cream. I'm not sure that I like it in ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but it is good in food, and it's, it's good to drink, and it's good for your bones. Yeah. That was what I read about it originally. Mm -hmm. So... Awesome. Thank you so much, Nasha. Thank you. Anybody else have fennel and has used it in a different way? Or who who has never tried fennel before? Me, I haven't tried it yet, but I think I might that I might have to get it. <laughs> 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 a lot of new oils to learn about. Hey, yeah. bitches. <laughs> yes. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. good How are good. you? <laughs> Pretty good. good. Thank good. you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys, if, um, if fennel isn't very expensive, actually, it's a really good oil to carry around because you never know when you need it. <laughs> so, all right. Any, anybody else? All right. Let's go on to, um, yeah, to the mind. mind. All right. So, you know, I love essential oils because it doesn't just help with our physical body. Um, this helps with the mind too. So uh, when I posted this, my sister said, hey, are you talking about me? Because <laughs> she's the youngest in the family. And I, I'm sure she doesn't mind um, because we talk about this all the time with people. But, you know, it's hard to be the youngest child and, um, you know, when everybody has taken over and done things for you so long, you don't know when um, that ends, when it stops and when, um, you know, you start being treated like, you know, and a responsible uh, member of the family too. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, is that Aaron? <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> this is Debbie Gordon's Aaron, the youngest. He says, I'm the youngest, and it's hard to be the youngest. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> and so my sister had the, like, the hardest time figuring out um, who she was because um, she's so used to you know, pleasing the family members and, um, you know, didn't know where she started and where she ended, kind of. And just recently she was able to, and by the way, she did not like fennel, <laughs> but recently she's been able to use it. And um, she texted me a few weeks ago and she said, I found, um, you know, she's found her what, her, her passion, what she wanted to do in life. So that was really difficult for her because she's like, I don't know, I don't know <laughs> what I want to do, where I want to go. Um, so fennel is the oil of responsibility. So for the youngest person, of course, um, because you're the youngest, you're the smallest, you're, um, used to be the weakest perhaps because you're, you know, the littlest person. And so you're so used to feeling defeated a lot. Um, and there's some point in time you should, you need to let go of that because you've grown up. But, um, sometimes people have a weak sense of self and a lack of passion for life and they hold on to it for a while because they don't know when to make that transition. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just hard for them because they're the cutest and they're the, you know, people who hover over them. That's how they get attention. And, um, you know, they continue on, um, not sure whether they want to take on a different role because they've mm -hmm. received attention and love and, um, you know, affection in that way so long that uh, it's just hard to make that transition. Okay, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you because know, I know that my youngest, they, they're 10 now, and um, they still sound like babies sometimes. You know? <laughs> and it's just like, I have to remind them, look, I still love you, even if you sound like you're grown up now. <laughs> but it just don't know when to make that transition. All right, so when we smell fennel, it helps us um, have the full responsibility for ourselves and help us feel self-worth. Uh, and, um, you know, as our older siblings and as parents, um, for us, we need to allow them to uh, have that space and um, time to discover who they are. Because I know that when the twins, um, we have four kids, uh, our twins were born, the older two, they would talk for them. They would tell us what the twins are saying. You know, they would interpret what the baby was saying. And, um, you know, they never got a chance to really talk for themselves because, oh, the twin needs this and the twins need that. And uh, we had to come to a point where we said, look, you know, even though they're taking their sweet time coming out with the right words, you need, need to let them find those words and, uh, you know, use that their own power to, within to handle their own life. So that was a, a, sort of a progress for us. We're still working on that. Um, but, yeah. So anybody with any... Um, thing to say about this regarding being the youngest of the family regarding not having that power well I'd like to say something I'm the oldest <laughs> and I'm the one with the independent attitude and mm -hmm. yes my um, my daughter's like me she you know she gets up and move but the son oh my god he's the baby and yes I think I'm going to buy about three bottles for that one <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he sounds like you know he's a grown man and talks like, but he does have to uh, what you call. I, I I get on him from time to time about being more responsible and doing things for himself. But he does seem a lot, you know, dependent. Like he needs people, and I I've been telling him lately. Listen, you you can't keep standing on the backs and shoulders of people. You got to learn to stand, you know, with your own two feet. That's just my expression uh -huh. of it. That's you know, exactly right. right. You know, and I'm telling him that constantly, you know, you know, being, ex you know, see how your sister's doing. And I don't know if I ever really, I don't think I treated him like a baby, but you know, but my, my daughter, I really did rely on her more as the responsible one. You know, they're only a year apart, but still, you know, she yeah. is more out there and, you know, ready to take care of things with him. Yeah, I got to tell him stuff over and over. So, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And right. Like a, what are three bottles tonight? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And some people, they don't recognize and we don't know. We don't see it because we're so used to it. Mm -hmm. um, 
But when it comes to, you know, adulthood, like my sister, um, she, she didn't know what she wanted. And um, it's like because people have been telling her what she wanted. You know, she remembered yeah. um, when she was younger, we, um, so during the school holiday, she was in until mum wakes her up and tells her where we're going, what we're doing. And I said, don't you have plans? Don't you want to achieve certain things? She's like, yeah, I guess. But she really mm -hmm. didn't have a direction. Um, and, you know, without somebody telling her what to do, she didn't know what to do. Um, mm -hmm. So that was kind of tough for her. So um, this fennel has really helped a lot of people. And, you know, basically, because we've been told what to do and how to think and how to dress all our lives, it's, it's going to yeah. be a tough job to, to really say, look, I can do this on my own. I mean, us as the, uh, the adult and the bigger sibling, we naturally pick up after them without even thinking sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our, us, we just need to step back. We need to learn to step back. For them, they need to smell this fennel and feel like, yes, I have, I have to discover this true power inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's fennel. And I'm glad that my twins asked for it too. So, cause we, we put a lot of uh, responsibility on these kids to take care of their room, take care of their chores. And when yep. it's like, um, later mom, you know, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Can you just go over there and smell the fennel oil. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's, uh, for the younger people, uh, or the younger in the family. Uh, Okay, does anyone else want to say anything about this? All righty, so we'll my move. youngest is my most responsible. So can I use it for all my older children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe it's like too much responsibility. Let me give up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, that's awesome. So here we are, yeah. with the creative diffuser blend. And uh, what we can do is um, use this blend to help us find ways to take responsibility for ourselves. So uh, 10 drops of fennel, four drops of ylang ylang, and 12 drops of coriander. See, coriander is the oil of um, integrity, you know, being true to yourself. Okay, um, 15 drops of wild orange and six drops of white fur. So these oils are fantastic uh, together just to help you kind of think up ways because they, they don't know to come up with solutions. The older siblings, the parents, that was their job to come up with solutions and tell them what to do. But now, you know, this is a great combination. Okay. Um, my sister may or may not kill me, but you know, when she was um, in college, she called me up and she says, how do you work this washing machine? And I thought, are you serious? You don't know how to do your laundry? <laughs> and she said, I've never done it before. And I thought, what? How did we oh miss God. that? How did we miss that? And uh, she's like, well, you did it. Then mum did it. And, you know, and all these other, my brother and my dad, she was, she was the youngest. And I thought, oh, dope. <laughs> right? Yeah. And everybody else is doing it for her out of a sign of love. Not yes. knowing that yeah. actually. Loving her of this reward. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now, nowadays, she tells me she's making this meal, making that meal. She's just got so much satisfaction from accomplishing things on her own without everybody butting in. So, you know, I didn't realize that, you know, this fennel helped me really open my eyes and see what we've done and what we can do better. <laughs> right. All righty. So the fennel is great for parents too. Okay. So for, it's for the martyrs. Uh, if we often say, I always put myself last, <laughs> this is for you too, okay? Um, so if we consider using fennel for a while, it, it teaches us um, that we can be equal like everybody else. We're, we're taught to be um, selfless and not to be selfish and, um, you know, put ourselves last, let everyone go first. But in reality... Um, there's a there's a balance and we need to take good care of ourselves if we want to teach our children self-reliance we need to show them how to take care of themselves by us uh, you know being able to fully take care of ourselves that means we can deserve to rest we deserve to play we deserve some um, some time and you know whatever it is that we need to take care of ourselves this is um, a wonderful oil for it so when I muscle test people 
and this leads me on to the next one too, um, you know, when fennel comes up and it's the oil of responsibility and these people look at me like, are you crazy? Because I have so many responsibilities. You don't understand, Jay. I take care of the world and everyone else. And I said, I know, but there's one person you for, you're forgetting and it's you. And they, they stop and think, oh my goodness, yes. You know, do you take care of yourself? Do you take a moment to, to play? Do you take a moment to rest? And it's sort of, no, I put myself last. Oh, oh. And so that's why fennel comes up for these people too, because you have the responsibility of taking care of yourself. Um, and fennel allows you to feel good about it. <laughs> All right. And if it smells bad to you, then, you know, we've got to work on that because it's sort of like you not being in tune with what your body needs. Okay, you don't know um, how satiety feels. So, um, you know, when you take care of yourself, your body should be able to send signals to your brain saying, you feel satisfied, you feel good, you feel fed. Okay, and some of us don't know how that feeling um, feels, okay? Um, so, anyone want to share and talk about this? about self-care, putting ourselves last? I did use that for putting myself last just because, well, for a long time I was a single mom and so it was always, you know, them and just being responsible and trying to make sure all their needs were met. But then after I realized like, okay, well, what about you, you know? And so I used it and I didn't realize how my focus had shifted not that I did not take care of them but um I started to put aside the time and not feel bad because I used to feel like I was wasting time so it took me a while like I was just using it and then I realized like oh I don't really feel bad about that anymore you know like if it was exercise or something I didn't feel bad but I felt it had served a purpose but if it was in just enjoyable or something, I felt, um, you know, oh, there's something else that needs to be done. And I used to kind of just self-talk, you know. But I started to realize that um, I used it for a while. And then um, I just shifted to where I didn't, I always put myself in the day, you know, at different places. And it was healthier because then it taught Help the others to you know do the same for themselves and not just keep track of school and you know this other stuff but um yeah i i noticed that it made me feel happier and healthier to have that time for myself that i need i actually need it <laughs> yeah thank you stacy so when you respect yourself um you're teaching your children to respect you too hey mm -hmm. anybody else want to share So this, this oil is a very special oil because it does this particular job, okay? Um, so it allows you to just digest the world and, and have a sense of self, okay? And so you're connected with your body functions and the messages that your body's sending you. And it could be sending you messages like, hey, um, take care of yourself, okay? So that's really important. All right. So we're moving on to the last part of um, this oil. Um, so we are dynamic beings and we're consistent, uh, consistent of the mind, the body and the spirit. And our body sends us messages all the time and it communicates with us, okay? Um, so, you know, I know that a lot of people think that our brain is the thinker, um, but I can tell you that the majority of the um, Communication actually comes from your body. Sometimes when we have a, an issue, we tend to overthink it. But if we just pay attention to our body, how our heart feels, how our gut feels, sometimes we can just make a quick decision and feel really good and feel right about that decision. So you need to work on allowing yourself to be connected to your body. And, um, you know, that will help you be happier and make better decisions. And so when your heart feels good, when your gut feels good about things, just go for it. Even if your brain goes, wait, I don't know everything about, you know, everything. Um, you know, it allows you not to overthink situations and things. OK, 
Okay, so we can smell phenol uh, to enhance the link between the mind, the body, and the spirit. Okay, so when it's difficult to make decisions, especially, then, you know, smell phenol um, and just, you know, listen to your heart, listen to your gut, and then allow it all to work together because all of that will help you feel the courage you need to, to move forward and take that next step. Okay. Um, so here is a blend. It's the courage boosting blend. Um, so it's three drops of fennels, four drops of thyme, one drop of black pepper and one drop of ginger. Love ginger. Ginger is like power. And of course, mix it all up in a separate container. And guess what? You want to put it behind your ears, in the back of your knees. Okay. This is to help with courage. I know a lot of people want to share the oils or do something in their life and they're so afraid and they hide behind um, you know, books and things and they just say, look, I don't know enough, so I'm just going to keep learning and learning. But uh, I want to encourage you that you can just share what you know. Um, share what you know as soon as you can and that's how we learn. Okay. I know that Stacy is a great example of that. Anything she learns, she applies it right away and she teaches everybody in her family and then her whole family knows all about it and then she remembers it. Um, and then she moves on to the next oil. And so that's a really, really good example um, just to help you apply what you know because otherwise just knowing something doesn't mean anything. Okay? Um, applying things show how much courage you have. All right? And the courage is about, um, you know, finding your power. All right, guys, and that is our um, fennel. It's uh, you know helping you connect back to your spirit and um, you know helping your mind feel more empowered. Does anyone have any questions? Anybody else know anything else about fennel that yeah. they, they want to add here? Someone mentioned earlier that uh, great for bones. Um, mm -hmm. So yep. yeah, we haven't talked about that a lot, but um, yeah. When our hormones are balanced, our body is able to absorb more nutrients from the bones. Yeah. They also have your healthier circulation. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have circulation issues, we've talked a lot about lots of oils that can be used for that. Yeah. Yep. This one added to that. Yeah. This is also in other circulation blends. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that completes fennel for this evening. We'll go ahead and, and stop. Yeah, we'll stop our, our recording and we can answer here. questions and have a conversation.